Hello everybody, um, so I'm going to just do a little simple recreation of like my, well basically the most popular photo of my thing. It's, this is steak, sauteed potatoes, I'm going to do fries just because it's easy at the moment. Some tomatoes, some green leaves, there's a sauce up there, I've got a lovely truffle mayonnaise and that mushroom I'm going to bin off. Um, so, uh, if you want to see it, look at my Instagram, I've got lots of action. Simply put, as much steak as you want to eat, you can have one between two. One each, these are called ribeye. You can see the eye of fat. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna put them in a pan, or bowl, or dish, casserole. I'm gonna take one clove of garlic, or two, depending on how much you like garlic. Smash that, split it in half, pop that on top. Sprig of rosemary. Don't take the leaves off, leave the, leave the leaves on the branch, and because it's a lot easier to pull out. Uh, once you've finished. Like for stews as well, just take the flavour from the herb and then just pull out the branch instead of having to, every time you're eating it, bite on a quite a stiff piece of greenery. Right, and then we're just gonna cover it in olive oil and sit them in the fridge for as long as you like, okay? No salt and pepper at this stage, just let the, the, the steaks take on the flavour of the garlic and the oil, keep them nice and marinated for as long as you like. All right, and then we'll jump on. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to do frozen fries, okay? A couple of handfuls. For, uh, this has been marinating, I've taken some of the oil from there and I've put it on here, you'll hear it sizzle in a minute. Maybe a little bit. So the tray's preheated and it's got a bit of oil on it. Every time you do oven roasted fries, I guarantee you'll get ones that burn, ones that are raw, and just not as they are from the shops and all the restaurants. And, let's be honest. I'm the same as you guys, does my nut in. Why aren't these tasting like McDonald's fries? But a few things you can do. Fry them, if you want to have a stinky fryer in your house. I'm not a huge fan of them, I'm not gonna lie. Or you can look after them better. Now, coat these in any oil you've got. Like I said, the steak oil, it's got a bit of flavor in there as well, from the marinade. And just roll them in a bit of oil, okay? If you're going healthy, don't, don't have fries. Have something else like a baked potato and tuna mayonnaise. Um, space them out evenly, make sure there's one layer, no overlaps, and then bang them in the oven, okay? So, sorry, just wash my hands. You'll notice I do that a lot. Hygiene's key. Get them in the oven as high as it says. I add 10 degrees to the packet, and that's about 200 to 220. Okay, fries in. Next, we've got our steak, okay? I'm gonna let that get to room temperature. That's been in the fridge, marinating for a couple of days. Forget about it, half an hour, okay. I'll go into the steak in a lot more detail, but for now, get your meat out, any meat really, up to half an hour out of the fridge before you wanna cook it. Let it get used to the environment, okay? It's spinning the cold, it's all strong, it's like Let it open up a bit, you're guaranteed to get more flavor out of it. Purely because of science, <laughs> uh, it'll warm up and when it reacts with the pan, it won't just like close up little bits and pieces, it'll let more flavour in and out, okay? So, get your meat out, let it rest on the side. Equally, we're gonna talk about resting later when we get it uh, after we finish cooking. So, I'm gonna, the green leaves in the packet, not a huge fan, but that's got watercress, spinach and rocket, that's that bit done. The tomatoes, just gonna cut these in half. Comme Season them with some salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. And then I'm gonna put them onto the griddle that the steak's on after the steak's rested. And you'll see that shortly, okay? So that's the tomato, the leaves are there. We grate some Parmesan over it. And then we wait for the chips to cook, okay? All right, see you in a sec. Okay, fries have been in for half their time, so about six or seven minutes. And like you do with your roast potatoes, give them a little roll around. They've still got that oil, so they haven't caught. I mean, the crispiest one there is like that. I'll take that. In fact, these are nearly done. So, another three or four minutes, and we're golden. Keep them level, no overlaps, very hot tray, and back in they go for another five minutes, okay? Super. Okay, steaks. Now, I've got a griddle. This one is a lovely, cheap little bit from, uh, that I've got from my missus. I've got a Le Creuset in there, but they take a lot longer to heat up, and I prefer to use them outside because they get really, really smoky. But they're great bits of kit. This nice, cheap skillet, griddle, whatever you want to call it. I have a five burner. That middle one is like a wok burner, heavy as that. So you want to get the windows open or doors open. Trust me. 
and get that thing red hot, red hot, okay? Second thing you gotta do is check on our marinated ribeye. Got our little garlic bits, I might cook them off later on, and our little rosemary. Remember we said keep them in whole, so you can just pick them out. Instead of, if you strip all the leaves off, you're just gonna be surfing around trying to fit, pick them all out, okay? So take them to one side. Don't want too much oil, like I said, the oil comes to smoke. And we don't season anything yet. I'm gonna do, well actually, I'm gonna do the pepper part. No, you know what, I'm not gonna season it at all. You know why? Because sometimes when you've got a really hot pan and seasoned, it will uh, it will burn, it will burn the pepper and it will get bitter, okay? So every chef's different, fear ye not. Wait for that to heat up. I'm gonna quickly lay that down and then we're gonna bring it on this board to rest. Got my tomatoes, they're gonna go on slightly after. Oh, watch this. I picked this up waiting and searched around. So usually I do this thing with a Bernays sauce or, or a Hollandaise, but today, Matthew, I'm trying truffle mayo from m &S. Fancy. I won't, I'll tell you another time of the story about the truffle mayo and why I bought it, but, but you, I don't know if you can see, there's a smoke coming off that now. It's getting really nice and hot. You can flip some water on it to test. Yep, we're there. And so, laying the steak away from you, comme ça. In fact, you know what? Let's just show you. So towards the camera, away from me. Okay, and on we go. Now, you will find chefs, and I know there'll be a load of people watching this. Sorry, the sink's there, I'm always washing my hands. Um, they'll be like, oh my God, he didn't season it. Okay, that's up to you. Don't hate me for it. I'm gonna put salt and pepper on that side now. And now I'm gonna turn it over and put salt and pepper on the other side that's a bit searing. Okay, everyone's different. You can do it differently, just relax. Take it easy. Chips are nearly done. I have a little dollop of truffle oil into a ramekin, make it look nice. Grill the tomatoes. And then we're gonna put it all on this board and I'll show you how to dress it. And then you can take it in. So there's two of you, or four of you, or however many. Such a simple thing, looks the business. And people can help themselves. Two minutes. As you can see, steaks are cooked beautifully, fat starting to render, they're ready, we're just going to let them come here, rest. And I'm just going to cook those tomatoes off a little bit longer, okay, because they're still a little bit hard. But you'll see there, they're a bit of, got, a bit of roasted garlic as well. Okay, so, our, our fries are done. Let's just manipulate this a little bit. So when it comes to cutting, you can see it too, okay. So just let that rest there. Got loads of juices come out of there, don't worry. What I'm gonna do is, once they've rested, and it's gonna take about half the cooking time. People are too keen to cut their meat straight from the get-go, even when it's a roast dinner, especially a roast dinner, the amount of people that take their joint out and then start hacking into it. Stop, 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 stop. Take it out, wrap it in foil, bung it in the microwave, you know, on a tray so the juices can collect. Leave it there for 40 minutes, an hour. You can cook your roasties, your cauliflower cheese. You can use the oven for Yorkies while it's resting. I'm sorry, I'm pointing over there, that's where my microwave is, but just honestly, let it rest. You've got 40 minutes to an hour more of cooking you can do with the oven, should you need it it's that long, okay? All right, I'm gonna kill the heat because it's touching your back a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to do a plate up. So, I'm gonna take our little bit of leavage. I said leavage, not cleavage, just FYI. Bung that in a bowl. Okay. Just check it, make sure it's not manky or needs washing or it's got a little maggot or anything in it, it's fine. All I'm gonna do with this is a little bit of olive oil. Okay. A little bit of balsamic. This is glaze, but you can have just about balsamic vinegar. Okay, you can see that. Just a little bit. Honestly, both very, I've got extra virgin olive oil, very strong flavors, and balsamic, very strong flavors, okay? What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna drain them off. A little treat for myself. I'm gonna put the green, so it can soak up some of those meat juices, okay? So, last bit of the, uh, the salad part of it. You take some Parmesan, any hard cheese, and just grate that on top. Nice and easy. You can have big chunks, you can have flakes, you can use a speed peeler and do it. 
crack of pepper, salad's done. Right, where are we? Other veggie bits. Tomato, nice and easy, grilled as you like it. And there she blows, okay? Sorry, Leaf, come back, good boy. Bit of garlic, if you like that kind of thing. Okay, this is the truffle mayo. Haven't tried it yet, but we'll see how we go. And now we come to the steak, okay? Oh, I should have just thought this through. Um, let's see. Stand by. Right, I'll turn the board on its side and I'll move this pair out of shot, but this is, we're gonna see the moment of truth. And we just gently cut the beef into nice long strips. Like I said, you can share this with as many people as you possible, as possible, however many friends you've got. You've got a game day, you can make tacos out of this, and you've got that lovely raw purple meat. Okay, steak number two. Just come through it, depending on how you like it. Obviously, if you get ribeye, so you can afford to take it to medium, that will render the fat down better. But again, pick a strip, any strip, and you've got this lovely purple meat. Now, I should probably make this look like a photo. Make it all round like that. And then, right at the last, where's my hot cloth? Oh, I'm missing something. I'll do. Right at the last, load up your fries. Turn off your noisy extractor. Pong on your truffle mayo. And there we are. Feast your eyes on some steak with chips. Done my way. And I'll put up some photos as well. Guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.